Listen, I want to thank all of you for joining me today. We just saw the news that the U.S. Supreme Court has overturned Roe versus Wade. This is a gut check and wrenching day for women for reproductive freedom in our country. Without Roe v. Wade protection, radical governors like Ron DeSantis will try to outlaw abortion completely. Make no mistake, Governor Ron DeSantis is not on the side of women and reproductive freedom. Now more than ever, we need to fight tirelessly to protect the right to choose against this governor's forthcoming attacks. The stakes in this election could not be higher. I believe in a woman's freedom to choose. I believe that as a state senator, I believe that as your governor, and I believe it now as a congressman and candidate for governor. That is why I am the only candidate running for governor of Florida who has proposed concrete steps to protect a woman's right to choose. On my first day in office, I will sign an executive order using the full weight of the governor's office to fight for and defend the right to choose. My executive order makes it clear that no Florida state agency will be able to restrict or prevent women from making decisions over their bodies. Women of Florida and across the country, I am firmly on your side. And once elected governor, I'll do whatever it takes to protect your right to make decisions about your body. The time to fight on behalf of all women is right now. And I'm proud to be your ally in this fight. Thank you very much. Let me finish by saying the following, however. I am the only candidate in this race for governor who has already vetoed an anti-abortion bill. I've done it before, I'll do it again. That veto pen is the only thing standing between a woman's right to choose and the crap radical right of Governor DeSantis to take away your right to choose. Thank you.